My name is Michael Kritzen. I'm a professor for evolutionary anthropology and genomics at the University of Zurich. And I've been working on orangutans since my arrival here in Zurich, which was, you know, more than a decade ago. My group, but also with collaborators, you know, from, from multiple international institutions, from Indonesia, from the US, from the UK, from Spain and other countries, revealed, you know, that there are actually not two orangutan species, but three orangutan species. When you look at the animals, uh, just, you know, if you look at the, the fur, they, they seem to be slightly different, but that probably would not be enough to call them a novel species. Um, so there are significant differences in the skull morphology and in the dental morphology of these uh, orangutans. When we brought together the genomic evidence and the morphological evidence, it became clear that the orangutans from Batangturu, from this isolated population, constitute a new great ape species. Uh, some very complex modeling based on whole genome data showed that there are actually three independent evolutionary lines. The new species is called uh, Pongo tapanuliensis. It occurs uh, at the southern tip, you know, where orangutans live in, in Sumatra, in a place called Batangturu. It's a small, isolated population of only about 800 individuals. Orangutans came to what's now Sumatra from, from mainland Asia and uh, the Batangturu population or the new species, Pongo tapanuliensis, um, they are direct descendants of the first orangutans that, that settled in this area. The new species occurs in a, in a special habitat, it's a highland habitat, it's quite isolated, uh, very hard to get to as a researcher. Uh, it's, you know, dense rainforest canopy, but uh, it's unusual because lots of orangutans in uh, Sumatra occur in, in swamp forest. The Tapanuli orangutan does not occur in a swamp. It's a mountainous, rugged area, and it's very hard for researchers actually to go and study these individuals. And this is also one of the reasons why uh, I guess that population was for has been forgotten for a long time. There were reports of this population in the 1930s, uh, but then it kind of got forgotten and it was only rediscovered in 1997. We also have to keep in mind there's only 800 individuals left of these orangutans. So I really do hope that with our work uh, we will be able to, to provide enough information for non-governmental organizations but also you know, for, for governments in local governments in, in northern Sumatra and in Indonesia to protect the species.